Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gabrielle Taylor YouTube channel. I'm Gabrielle and you have made it to another episode with me. How exciting! Today I'm going to bring you the final part to my series, which is, well I might do some actually in a later date, maybe, because I kind of like this vibe, this idea that's going on. But this book that I've made now, this initial series that I've made, it's going to come to an end with today's video because I'm going to bring you what I would wear if dot 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 we were going on a seaside beach sea orientated date yes it's a hot visualize this <laughs> close your eyes right now we're at the beach or a seaside location you can hear the waves it's very sunny. Um, the wind is slightly blowing. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. We're meeting up for a date. It's a hot day, but we're out in a location where it needs to be quite a breezy outfit, but I need to look cute because we're on a date. I'm going to bring to you three outfits today to wear for a seaside beach date extravaganza. And I'm going to team them with heels and with hosiery. And then at the end of the video, you can comment down below and tell me which outfit you loved the most. If you've not already hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get a notification when I upload a brand new video. Also, check out my Instagram. That is at Gabrielle Taylor one And you will be able to see on there daily, uh, amazing, uh, pictures of me in dresses, in hosiery, in heels, in all things fun. So go and check that out. Also, I've got a Discord server. It's down below in the description. And I've got only that. It's not got Gabrielle Taylor. It's amazing on that. Right, let's get into beach seaside vibing outfit number one. What hosiery shall I wear? Hmm. Numero uno. <laughs> this was a gift from my Amazon wish list, which I love. I love it. It's very soft. It's cute, it's like a swing kind of thing going on, tight fitted around the waist, it ties at the back, kind of goes in here. If I was to wear this, I wouldn't actually wear a bra with it, I'd wear no bra with this. I have on some nude stockings with this cute little design here, I put these on because they're only like 10 denier, so I thought, you know, I need something thin if it's going to be warm. And I've put on my nude coloured only makeup, high heels. These potentially are a little bit too high for the beach, El Beachio, but I don't know. Do you like this outfit? Is it your favourite? You haven't seen the rest, so you don't know yet. So keep watching and tell me if it's your favourite at the end. number two is this red dress I have kept on the nude shoes I think my camera somehow angled itself up wait right there I'm gonna angle it down there we go um so I've kept on at the nude shoes I've still got the stockings on I've got this cute little dress on I don't know whether I'd go for a wedge shoe the more I'm thinking beach seaside cafe vibes the more I'm thinking would I wear a big seven inch stiletto Probably not. I'd probably have more wedge shoes on. We might go for that in the next look. Red, cute dress. I saw it first, this one. Ties up at the front. Little ruffles here. Quite short. Um, it would blow up in the breeze, this one. It's one of those ones where you probably see the girls and they walk down the window windy day and they're like that <laughs> with the dress <laughs> because they're worried about it blowing up. This is your second choice. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think of it? I feel really comfortable actually in this dress. I did wear this dress out once for a summer's day in Manchester. So it's already been on a test drive and it did do very well actually. It did do very well. I didn't wear any hosiery though. I had bare legs. But if I was to wear it again, I would probably definitely wear these stockings with this look. Let's get into the third outfit and I'm going to put the wet shoes on and the dress. So take these off. Third and final outfit. This is one of my favourite dresses. 
Um, I was, did want to sell this dress, but it seems nobody wants it in the UK. I think it's because I could only sell my dresses on Vinted.com to the UK, and most of the followers that I have on YouTube are actually in the US. So it's kind of not going to work unless I do it on eBay. But, love this dress. Love the sleeves of this dress. It's very floaty. I just hope that the beach slash seaside date, it's not a windy day because it would be like, why? It, it does blow up. I wore this to the evening do, the evening part of a wedding and I was even just walking outside and there was a slight breeze, I was like trying to pull it off. So maybe I'd have to wear a bikini underneath it so that it could easily come on and off. So if it did blow up, I'd be like, don't worry guys, I got my swimsuit on, you know, I don't see anything. <laughs> This is your third and final outfit. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you a wedged heel shoe fan? Or are they a massive no-no for you? And that is it from me, my shoes, my hosiery, and my dresses today. I want to know down below what would we be wearing on a beach date, seaside date together. Make sure you drop me a comment down below. If you have any other suggestions of what you would like to see, what would I wear if dot 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 videos, comment down below. You know what I'm trying to say? If you've got any ideas, any like scenarios you'd like me to dress for, the RPG of course, comment down below and I may reboost this series in a month or so. That's an option. If you're not here, subscribe, do it right now. If I've put a tiny smile on your face at some point in this video, if you've loved watching me in heels and hosiery, don't forget to smash that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. <laughs> I will see you again next time. Check out my OnlyFans, my Discord, and my Instagram. Love you all so much. Mwah.